Dog Man, Mothering Heights, by Dave Pilkey. Meet the cast. Dog Man. He has the head of a dog, the body of a man, and the heart of a hero. He's lovable, brave, and enjoys chasing squirrels. Strength, kindness, weakness, easily distracted. Petey, once known as the world's most evilest cat, Petey's now working on becoming a better version of himself. Strength, intelligence, weakness. Easily annoyed, little Petey, Petey's son. He's a force for goodness and kindness. He lives with Petey during the week and Dog Man on weekends. Strength, optimism, weakness can be annoying. Molly, an amphibious kid with a heart of gold and a pro. Pensity for silliness. She can fly and can do stuff with her brain. Strength, psychokinesis, weakness, stubbornness. Sarah Hatoff, an investigative journalist slash blogger who fights injustice wherever it lurks. She's an immigrant from Australia and has a pet poodle. Strengths. Bravery and brains, weakness, impatience. Chief, the fearless boss of the local police department. He's got the bravery of a warrior and the heart of a kid. Strength, loyalty, weakness, impulsiveness. ATHD. A friendly sentient transforming robot who's a loyal friend to little Petey. ADHD sometimes gets destroyed, but he always comes back for more. Strength, creativity, weakness, malic acid. Zuzu, Sarah Hatoff's feisty poodle who bites first and asks questions later. Actually, she doesn't really ask questions. She's a dog. Strength, tenacity, weakness, holds grudges. Nurse Lady, aka Genie S Lady R N B S N. Her genius ideas are caring with bedside manner are world renowned. Her quick thinking saved a dog man's life. Strength, moxie, weakness, chutzpa. Grandpa, Petey's dad. He's a selfish, egotistical meanie who currently resides in cat jail. Petey and little Petey no longer associate with him. Strength, intelligence, weakness, arrogance. Big Jim. Grandpa's pure-hearted cellmate in cat jail. Sometimes he moonlights as a superhero named Commander Cupcake. Strength, cupcakes. Weakness, cupcakes. Chapter One: The Line of Duty. I've got you now, dog man. Nobody can escape my terrifying rubber shark duck. Crash! Oh no! It's Chief. Wait, I can explain. Kung Fu grip, toss, rawr, quack attack. Pop, pow. Munch, munch, munch. Booyah! Pss. Slice. Bonk. 
I believe that puppies are our future. Teach them tricks and let them wag their tails. Show them all the bushes they can sniff outside. Give them a sense of ring to make it easier. Ring, 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 ring. What's up? Dogman was injured in the line of duty. I'll be right there. Quack quack. Hold on, Dogman. I'm coming. How's he? Is he gonna pull through? Don't worry, Chief. He's gonna be fine. But what happened? Let's let a sketch artist explain it in Flipperama. Introducing Flipperama. So let me get this straight. Dogman is drinking out of the toilet again, and the lid fell down and hurt his fingers. Bingo! You said he was injured in the line of duty. No, I said line of duty. You see, there's a really long line at the bathroom, and all we had to go duty. And well. You see, we uh, get out of here. Yeah. Would you like to see him, Chief? Yeah. Is he okay? Yes, he's fine. But he kept chewing on his bandages, and we couldn't get him to stop. So we gave him a special collar. Chapter two: The Crown of Shame. Oh no, Dogman! What happened to you? He's okay, Chief. I promise. But why does he have to wear this silly crown? He only has to wear it for a few days. But but everybody's gonna make fun of him. Well, I'm glad he has a friend like you. You'll protect him, won't you? Sure, I will. Good. See you later. Bye. I like your slippers. Really? Thanks. They quack when you walk. I noticed. She noticed. She noticed. Oh, hi, dog man. How come you're wearing that thingy on your head? Whine, whine, whine. You did. Whine, whine, whine. Are you okay? Whine, 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 whine. A few days. Hmm. Don't worry, dog man. You stay here and enjoy a cup of pretend tea. ATHD and I will solve this problem. Come on, ATHD. Let's go to the grand ballroom. Four, four. Chapter three. Escape from cat jail. Meanwhile, at last, my evil plan is complete. I just need two secret ingredients. Hmm. Hang in there. Bonk. Roll, roll. Wump. Oh hi, Grandpa. Hi, Big Jim. Grandpa, I'm not Big Jim right now. Remember, I'm Commander Cupcake. Yeah, whatever. Hey, you're not trying to escape again, are you, Grandpa? Leave me alone. But Grandpa, I got to warn you. I reprogrammed the Cupcake exit, so you can't use it to escape. It's very dangerous. Leave me alone, I said. I'll do what I want, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Do you hear me? Nothing. I'm the boss of me, and oh, I make my own decisions. Danger. Go on, flip it. You know, 
You want to. Sorry, Grandpa. I tried to warn you. Only me and my new robot can use the cupcake exit. The cardboard hunk of junk can escape. Well, it could if I could make it work, but I can't. Maybe it just needs a battery. Of course, a battery. Wait here, Grandpa. I'm going to get a battery. You do that. Chapter Four: Turn of Destiny. Meanwhile, while Dogman was enjoying his pretend tea, little Petey and ADHD were upstairs in the ballroom completing their new invention. Okay, ADHD, let's test it out. Click. This swish swish, ka chunk ka chunk. Rrr, ka clack, ka clack, clunka clunka, ka clack, ka clack, chika chika. Rrr, chunka chunka, ka blank, ka blank. Rrr, sweet. Clop. We're all ready. What? Whoop. An umbrella. Good thinking, ADHD. You just never know when an umbrella might come in handy. Come on, ADHD, flip 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 flip. We did it, Dogman. Now all you have to do, ka click, is get rid of this thingy and replace it. Ka click with the can of destiny. Now any time you get in trouble, just press the button on top. And all of your wildest dreams will come true. Are you ready? Who's gonna save the day? Is it you? Are you gonna save the day? Go save the day! Zoom, room, pow, clunk. Oh hi, Papa. Why is it that every time I come here, something dangerous or obnoxious happens? That's how we roll, Papa. Are you ready to go home? All ready? Yeah, and you're coming too. Yeah, you can play with me at Papa's house. He's not gonna be playing. He's not. No, he destroyed three walls in our lab last week, and he broke our door. So I'm putting him to work. But Papa, and no buts. You knuckleheads need to learn that there are consequences to your actions. Oh man, I hate consequences. Chapter five: Bring on the bullies. Meanwhile, well, 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 look who's back! Hey man, check out Dogman's headgear! Ha 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 ha! He looks even more ridiculous than usual. What a disgrace! What an embarrassment! What a humiliation! You better hide behind that plant like you always do, you cowhead! Yeah, cowhead! 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 Cowhead head! Remember, any time you get in trouble, just press the button on top. And all of your wildest dreams will come true. Can't head, can't head, can't head, can't head, can't head, can't can clunk, can clack, chunka chunka. Chasnook, chasnook, kawawa, kawawa, sniff, sniff, zot, kazaz, kazim, kazok, ver, ziz, ziz, wazaz. Pock pock, kazooizook, chunka chunka, erk erk, mmm, kong kong, click click, swoosh, chuck 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 chuck, fwasha fwasha, work work, ganga galanga, fonzi dawa, titi titi, damiti dew, bakarak, drip drip, hmm, purdink, drip 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 drip. 
Yankovic. Drip, 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 drip. Chabon. Yeah. Click. Kazonk. Baflump. Trazonk. Babidi, babidi, booyah. Hey, quit bugging me, dog man. Can't you see I'm writing a very important letter? Hmm. What do you think of this? Dear nurse lady, roses are red, violets are blue. You are a nurse lady and I like you. Do you like me? Yes? No? Check one. Your pal, Chief. <laughs> I guess you're right, dog man. I guess I'll always be alone. Chapter 6. The Playdates Hey, Grandpa, I found a battery. Grandpa? I have escaped. Signed, Grandpa. Hmm. Okay, robot. Here's your battery. Don't tell Grandpa, but I borrowed it from his alarm clock. How many times have I told you not to touch my stuff? Er, uh, I mean, beep beep greetings, current be based feline. It works! It works! I love you, robot! What do you want to do? Hide and seek? Coloring books? Go fish? Now, let's escape. Er, uh, I mean, beep beep. Let's go play outside and look for two secret ingredients. A treasure hunt? Sweet! What shall we look for? Living spray and canary grow. What do we need them? Um, hmm, because cupcakes are delicious forever? Makes sense to me. Click, let's go. Meanwhile, Fix those holes first, then you can fix the door. Let's go, kid. It's time to take your bath. But it's daytime. Too bad. You need to get cleaned up. Why? Because I'm going to be on TV. Why? Because Sarah is going to interview me. Why? Because she's doing a new story about former villains who have transformed their lives. Why? Is people like to watch stuff like that. Why? Because it makes them feel all warm and fuzzy. Why? Because it triggers dopamine responders in the pea-sized brains of all the gumching simpletons out there who've got nothing better to do than throw their lives away by sitting in front of a screen all day. Look, Papa, I'm Santa Claus. Were are you even listening? No. Ding dong. Doorbell. Ruff, 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 ruff. Splash. Ruff, 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 ruff. Two minutes later. Hey, Papa. What? Can Molly come over and play? No. Oh, please. We'll be good this time. I said no. I don't want any distractions today. Sarah is going to be here soon. Splash, splash. Besides, that Molly's kid is a little strange if you ask me. I am. What didn't you tell me? She was already here. I forgot. Look, I'm sorry I called you strange, but the truth is... You're both a little strange when you play together. Last week, you both spent one whole day making up songs about diarrhea. Oh yeah, that wasn't strange. That was hilarious. Not when you did for nine hours. <laughs> All right, look, you can stay and play out downstairs. But I don't want your peep out of you kids. Do you hear me? Not a peep. Okay, Papa. Let's go. Bye, Wally. Peep, peep. 
I'm serious. I don't want you kids messing everything up today. We won't. You're probably going to mess up everything up today, aren't we? Yeah, probably. Chapter seven. A bunch of stuff that happened next. Meanwhile, Mayor Sinigro's garden. Keep out, especially Dog Man. Foie bouche. Plop. Ding dong. A walk. A pile of strawberry roses. I'll wash these off and give them to my patients. That'll cheer everyone up. Meanwhile, what do you mean? No longer available. Well, Living Spray was banned due to complaints, right? And they stopped making Canary Girl after the factory was destroyed in book number five, right? This is an outrage. Let's take our business elsewhere. Meanwhile, hi, I'm Sarah Hatoff. Welcome to my show. Oh, hi, ATHD. Today we are at the home of Petey the cat. As you may remember, Petey used to have a very bad reputation. He was known across the continents as the world's most evilest cat. But all of that has changed. Today, Petey is an upstanding citizen and an ambassador for altruism. Let's meet him now. Here's Petey. Well, hello, Sarah. What a surprise! And how are you, little doggy? Grrr. Be nice, Zuzu. Yeah, be nice, Zuzu. Petey, just a short time ago, you were widely known as a villain, a ruthless bad guy, an evil scheming, good-for-nothing scoundrel. But you've changed. Yeah, tell me why. Why, if you're happy and you know it, poop your pants. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, poop your pants. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, then your underwear will show it. If you're happy and you know it, we cut that out. I told you kids to be quiet. How come Wally's wearing clouds? I wear clouds sometimes. No, you don't. Oh, look who's here! It's Little Petey and Molly. How are you two doing today? Fine. Are you on TV? Yes. Testing. One, two, three. Hey, you wanna hear a song about diarrhea? No, she doesn't. I told you kids to stay downstairs. But we're hungry. Yeah. Do you got any potato chips? How about something healthy instead? I can cut up some carrots and broccoli. Now you like potato chips. All right, here. Crinkle, crinkle, shuff a shaker, clack, crinkle, crunker, clipper, clap. Do you got any of that white stuff? What white stuff? You know the white stuff. She means chip dip. We don't have any chip dip. Oh, chomp, munch, 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 munch.、Mm. They taste way better than chip dip. Well, we're all out of chip dip. That's okay, Wally. You can get some for the next time I come over. What do you get out of here? Okay. Bye, Wally. Why does she keep calling you Wally? I have no idea.